in our third and final year of our Spreading Wings project, the angels have been taking the lead. They came up with this concept and thought that the seasons of recovery is very similar to the seasons in nature. Winter would be very dark and gloomy and that would be like not even being in recovery yet for me, that would be how I perceive it. Coming into recovery, starting to take action, that's when the buds form. We take on a, a new way of life and that's all about coming into the spring. As you work further and further on, the light gets more and you kind of manage to come a bit more into recovery. And then when you get into spring, it's more like, okay, I'm actually in recovery. I may not be 100%, but I'm getting there. And then of course, the summer is the sturdy recovery where you feel grounded. You feel okay. You feel comfortable in your own skin. You feel as if you can trust yourself. And to trust yourself is the most priceless thing ever. I am disabled. I do walk with a walker and I struggle with addiction. And Well, I don't know. I'm in recovery from addiction and mental health. But Fallen Angels really helps physically and mentally. It strengthens me, helps me mobilise more. I can do so much more now than I could five years ago. In 2020, I had a very, very bad fall because I'm registered blind, fractured my skull and my right foot. I'm nearly 14 years in recovery from alcohol and with the help and the camaraderie of fallen angels i always feel as if i'm part of i've been here for going on six years now i didn't actually really get into it though until i think my sister took her own life once that had happened i didn't care what people thought when they looked at me and moving and dancing because it was about what i was feeling and that coming out and that's what fallen angels is it's about your feelings, emotions and trauma coming out. For some reason, being able to express what goes on seems to make it feel better. I actually studied dance performance and teaching at uni and because of Fallen Angels, I actually managed to complete my degree. I did my dissertation on mindfulness and I brought in some of the aspects of Fallen Angels and I actually taught a couple of sessions for Fallen Angels. Using in many ways, using dancing to deal better with those problems and when you use it also for your for your own well-being, I think that's that's quite essential that you you have that connection with yourself at the heart of it. As long as I've got gratitude, and all of these here have helped me with that, then I'm all right, and everybody else is then all right because it flows out, and I'm able to help others. We call ourselves the Fallen Angels family. The logo is the wings. And I always picture that as the wings wrapping round us all, keeping ourselves safe. I thought it was beautiful. And as a student nurse, um, you don't really get to see the creative side because it's all like clinical, 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 and that's what people think it is. But actually, the creative helps more with mental health than anything else ever will do. It made me feel hopeful about the world. My background is secondary care, so I work for the NHS, so we work for a statutory organisation. And what we're constantly trying to do is look for other resources, because our resources are shrinking, we're looking for other avenues for our patients to be referred to. And I think something as cathartic and as empowering as other people who are actually going through it, for our patients would be would be amazing. So no, I thought it was excellent. It was really a, yeah, moving. I thought the performance was absolutely inspiring. I've seen Fallen Angels three or four times now. Um, and every time it's challenging in different ways, but it's also inspiring in different ways. 